Thanks for joining us on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Let's talk Berwick Bulldogs football. Kyle Pierce playing in his senior year. Well, Kyle, uh, I remember covering you for many years now. <laughs> You're finally a senior. Hey, it's been a long career there at Berwick for you. Yeah, yeah, it has. I mean, uh, you know, these past four years have been great for me. And, you know, just trying to finish out my senior year strong. Well, Kyle, uh, George Curry, uh, what a, a great coach, but a, a better person. And uh, you got to know him pretty darn well and uh, and a close relationship I'm sure you guys had over the years. What was it like to play for Coach Curry? Um, you know, playing for Coach Curry was, you know, an honor for me. Um, you know, starting as a freshman, you know, we kind of kind of got to know each other a little bit of my freshman year there. And, you know, ever since then, we just kind of built – Built a good relationship with each other, and you know I had respect for him. He had respect for me, and um, you know just just being able to play for him, you know his legacy and everything he has, you know, it was such a great honor, and uh, you know just just amazing, amazing career I had with him. Kyle, what's one thing that stands out that you'll always remember and take with you for the rest of your life when it comes to Coach Curry? Something that he kind of instilled in you? Um, just you know his. He was willing to help not only me, but, uh, you know, just anybody, you know, um, whether it came to football, school, um, stuff in life, you know, he helped any way he could. And, um, you know, he just wanted to do what he could himself to help, whether it was, you know, him personally or making phone calls, connections to help anybody and everybody. So uh, I think that was one of the best things. Kyle Pierce from Berwick joining us here on the John Mandola Show as we talk about the Bulldogs. And uh, now you have Coach Sheptock, who's a, an organized guy. Uh, he's got a lot of enthusiasm and a guy that uh, was pretty darn good back in the day when he played football, uh, an All-American at Bloomsburg and still holds many records. Uh, what's it like now to play for Coach Sheptock and, and his enthusiasm for the 2016 season? I mean, playing for Coach Sheptock is great, you know, uh, you know, he brings a whole different type of atmosphere to our program now, and, you know, it's a lot different than what we had with Coach Perry, but it's a it's a good change, I think, for us, you know, get out of an old system, but a good system that we had into a new system here, and, you know, I think for us as a team, it, it's helped us a lot, you know, just the transition he's brought in, you know, it's gone pretty smooth, and just playing for him, you know, it's a fun atmosphere he brings to our program. There's a maturity about some of you guys there at Berwick talking to a Michael Force. Uh, he's got a way uh, about him. It does very well in the classroom uh, and does a pretty darn good job on the field as well. And you kind of come across that way as well. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, having that demeanor and kind of growing up quick and then um, being pretty seasoned uh, to be able to, to speak to people and then go out and actually perform on the field. Yeah, I mean... Um you know, this is my fourth year playing here, so, you know, after my freshman year, um, you know, I kind of had to grow up a little bit, um, you know, in the community, on the field, you know, I just kind of wanted to, you know, show what everyone's been, been talking about me and stuff, so when it comes to interviews and talking to people around the community here, you know, I tell them what I feel and, you know, I just want to show them, you know, what I can do on the field too. Kyle, let's talk about that offensive line this year at Berwick. Uh, take us through the guys up front and uh, uh, you know, the starters you have, and I'm sure you have a couple guys who'll be able to get into the mix this season as well. Yeah, I mean, up front right now we have uh, you know we have five seniors across our offensive line. Uh, myself, uh, Stone Forrest, Matt Taylor, Austin McLaughlin, uh, Kyle Roberts right now at right tackle, and then uh, Ryan Woodard when he comes back, you know, between those six guys, you know, I think we could be a pretty dominant offensive line. Um, basically, everybody coming back this year, um, throughout those six, we've all either started last year, had plenty of time last year. So, you know, this, just the experience level and, um, you know, the knowledge we have up front there, I think we'll be a pretty good line. How about the skill set, the guys in the backfield, whether it's your quarterback, running backs, or receivers, or tight ends? Uh, take us through some of those guys that uh, you think will be able to help put some points on the board for the Bulldogs. Yeah, um, you know, we have uh, Jared Marshman back at quarterback there. You know, he started just about every game last year between him and Mikey. Um, 
you know, we have him coming back. I think he'll, he's going to do some big things for us at that position. Um, Lenny White at running back, I think, uh, you know, he's going to open some eyes this year with what he's going to be able to do running the ball. And, um, you know, I think he'll be a good one. Um, obviously, we have Mike at a, a receiver now. You know, different change in what he's been used to playing. But with his athleticism, I think, you know, that'll be a, a big threat in our offense. So. Kyle, uh, we head over to the defensive side of the ball, and uh, who are the players you think will stand out as the season goes on for the Bulldogs? Uh, defensively, you know, I think our defensive line is our main strength with uh, myself, Tom Monaco, Chase Struthers, uh, Kyle Roberts, Max McCabe. You know, us, us five rotating in and out on the D-line there, I think that's going to be our strong point. On defensively and on the defensive side but um you know our secondary is pretty experienced too we have uh justin groshek back at safety uh mike force at safety now and then uh you know our outside linebackers we moved uh Anthony out there with some experience so i think defensively overall i think we're a pretty experienced group pretty tough group so it's going to be tough to stop us Kyle Pierce uh, here on the John Mandola Show, Berwick Offense and Defensive Lines. Uh, Kyle, uh, you get into the first game. You guys uh, beat Hazleton area. It's only one game. you got to take on a new opponent this coming week. Uh, uh, talk about Coach Shep talk, uh, some things maybe he said before the game, maybe he said after the game, and as you guys prepare now for this week two. Yeah, you know, coming into Hazleton, you know, we prepared Watson film practicing against their defense, their offense, you know, all over like that. And uh, he broke it down pretty good for us, you know, had us all ready on both sides of the ball for what the Cougars brought to our field. And coming out, you know, he just said for us seniors, you know, make the last year count here. So that was our mindset coming into the game. And, you know, we made the home opener count. So, I mean, overall, you know, he had us prepared. We were ready to go. Future endeavors for you, Kyle. Uh, talk about uh, some things you're thinking about doing, uh, whether football is, is part of that next level and what you're interested in studying in. Yeah, you know, um, I'm hoping to move on to the next level, play at college, uh, play some football there. Um, I'm looking a couple schools with a uh, civil engineering degree is what I, I really want to look into. So, you know, some schools are looking, I'm not sure. You know, I haven't really decided where I want to go yet, but, you know, hopefully after the season here, you know, things will come my way. Let's talk about your family and uh, the support you get from them, whether out there on the field or in the classroom or, as you said, in your community. Uh, tell us about how they help you. Yeah, my family, you know, they're, they're big supporters. And, you know, they help me, whether it's school, football, you know, just life in general. You know, they're always there to support me. Between my brothers, my parents, grandparents, you know, everybody's there supporting me. You know, Friday nights during football, during school all year round. Um, you know, anything in life that I need to, you know, they're always there supporting me, helping me through everything. So I can't thank them enough for what they do for me. Not many uh, varsity athletes get to soak up what you've soaked up. Uh, which is three years with uh, the best coach in Pennsylvania, uh, the most wins, and now you have Frank Sheptock, who's energized, comes from a college program. Um, do these weeks kind of go by fast, even though in, in some ways you have all those games under your belt and you still have at least another nine to go? Uh, but the fall football season tends to go a little fast. How does it feel for you? Yeah, you know, um, you know, it seems like just yesterday I was playing my first my first varsity game freshman year and here I am I already have one one game down on my senior year but um you know each week kind of goes it does go by fast but you know I'm trying to you know do everything I can to make this last year count and you know finish up my career here at Berwick and you know I just you know do what I can to slow things down and enjoy my time left that I have playing. Well, Kyle, uh, continued success there for the Berwick Bulldogs on the field. We wish you the best of luck. Continued success in the classroom. And I know you're getting the job done at Berwick with a, a future in civil engineering. And uh, we appreciate your time, uh, Kyle Pierce. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Senior Bulldog Kyle Pierce on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers.